What's up guys? Today we're going to be checking out the app Fastic. So without further ado, let's get right into this review. Starting off on the top left hand corner, you'll see a star symbol. And when you tap on that, here we can check our stats. As you can see, we have a streak. We have some stars, some frosties, your current level, and here towards the bottom, we have a Fastic Shop where you can continue to check Frosties, whatever that means. Here towards the center, still at the very top, you'll see a little flame symbol with a zero next to it. When you tap on that, this is also where you can continue to check your stats. Interesting how you have two tabs for that. And still at the very top, on the right hand corner, we have a little clock symbol with a number 25 next to it. And when you tap on that this is also where you can check your stats very interesting and just below that we have our fasting timer it says here 9 p.m till our next fast and if you tap on the clock symbol next to that this brings up our fast plan here our current plan is 16 8 with a little description to the right that says 16 hour fast with eight hour eating window and when you tap on the pencil here we have fasting times where you can choose your preferred fasting time here we have beginner best for getting into things we got 12 12 which is a 12 hour fast with a 12 hour eating window and to the right of that we have 13 11 which is a 13 hour fast with an 11 hour eating window next we have 14 10 which is a 14 hour fast with a 10 hour eating window and to the right of that we have 59 which is a 15 hour fast with a 9 hour eating window these are considered beginner fasts and right below that we come to regular fasts which is best for full health benefits Benefits. Here we have 16.8, which is a 16 hour fast with an 8 hour eating window. Next we have 17.7, which is a 17 hour fast with a 7 hour eating window. Moving on to the right of that, we have 18.6, which is an 18 hour fast with a 6 hour eating window. And a little bit more to the right of that, we have 19.5, which is one of my favorites, a 19 hour fast with a 5 hour eating window. And lastly, we have 24, which is a 20 hour fast with a 4 hour eating window. Scrolling down a little more, we come to the expert fasts, which are best for occasions. Interesting how it says these longer fasts are better for occasions. I actually think the opposite is much better, but interesting. So the first one we have here is 23, which is a 21 hour fast with a three hour eating window. To the right of that, we have 22, 2, which is a 22 hour fast with a two hour eating window. And here to the very right, we have omad which is a 23 hour fast with a one hour eating window and to the bottom of that we have weekly schedules which is best for full flexibility most days of the week the very first one we have here is four three which is four days of eating three days of fasting and if you look closely it says plus which i think is pretty safe to say only available if you upgrade to the premium version next we have five two which is five days days of eating, two days of fasting, and least but not last, we have 6-1, which is six days of eating and one day of fasting. Right below these weekly schedules, we have custom schedule, which is best for very bail, start times, and goals for each day of the week. I think they meant to say variable, but hey, very bail works too. Here we have custom, which is your very own fasting schedule. And starting from the bottom, and now we're here, we have long fasts which is best for challenging yourself. We have long, which is a one-time fast longer than 24 hours. So once again, these are the fasting times that the app Fastic has to offer. Going back to the Your Fast Plan tab, right below the My Plan section, we have another section that says Start slash End Time, as well as the times right next to it, which if you tap on the pencil icon, here you will see something that says Start Fasting at this specific time. So this is where you can make some adjustments. Below that, we have a section called My Schedule, 7 days a week. When you tap on that, it's only available 
available if you upgrade it to the premium version. Scrolling down a little further, we have this tab called Vacation Mode. And when you tap on the little button to the right, it will ask you, looking for a break? You won't lose any flames or receive any fasting pushes while you are on vacation. So if you feel like being lazy for a while, go ahead and turn on Vacation Mode. Right below that, here we can check some stats throughout the week, throughout the month, or everything. Here towards the bottom, we have a history button, which when we tap on that, will show us our fasting history, such as our total fasts. Here you will see two, as well as when they were finished. And if you tap on add fast, this is where you can add a new entry. And to the very bottom, this is where we can allow notifications if you want. Going back to the main interface here where it says start fasting, if we tap on that, it's going to ask you when you started fasting. We'll just say save and we get a little ad that pops up. We'll just close that. And now you will see we currently have 15 hours and 58 minutes left before we end our fast. But in this case, we're going to end it early. So I'm going to tap end fasting and it's going to say, Jed fasting, do you really want to stop your fast? I'm going to say yes, stop fasting. And when you do that, we have another ad that pops up, which we will just close and boom, there you have it. We have now officially ended our fast. And below our fasting timer, we have a water tab. Here we can check your water goal. Today is currently zero ounces with a goal of 101 ounces, which you can actually edit by tapping on the pencil. And here we go, your daily goal. Here, when you tap on log water, it's going to ask you how much you drank and you can add how much you drank based on these options or enter in a custom amount. Moving down a little further, we have a little did you know? And below that we have where we can check our stats in terms of water. You can check your history as well, enable these specific notifications for water, and to the very bottom you can manage your app connections. To the right of that we can also track our steps, our meals, our weight, our sleep, our workouts, our mindfulness, and we also have two extra tabs called Academy and Habits. When we tap on Academy, we can check our course progress, as well as these little fasting lessons that they have for you to take, and a little curriculum here towards the bottom. You can also allow notifications for this as well, or change your course. When we tap on Habits, here we have Healthy Habits, as well as some extra extra features here as well. So that's pretty interesting. And below that, it says here, this is your plan for today. Start your fastic program. When you tap on that, we have a little get started page. When we press continue, you can see some tips or facts rather. So that's pretty cool. We'll just tap on continue and start. Awesome. We have officially taken off. Then it's going to ask you if you're new to fasting. I'm going to say not right now. When you tap on the rest, of these options here i guess they're just like little tasks that you can complete if you would like i'm not going to do that right now so if you want to complete these tasks by all means go ahead scrolling down a little more we have some interesting little features here as well as you can see that's quite a bit still going <laughs> Guess what? Still going. Does this ever end? Apparently not. This is pretty fun, guys. Still going. All right, let's speed this up a bit. And finally, we're here at the very bottom. And when you tap this little arrow here at the bottom right hand corner, this will, of course, bring us back to the very top. OK, almost there. Here we go. All right. Voila. Back to the very top. Moving on to the fast tab. Here you can get ready to fast. And here where it says my fast plan 168 when you tap on the pencil icon here you can continue to edit your fast plan below that this is of course our fasting timer and if you look closely you can see icons around the circle which tells you the stages of intermittent fasting and below the start fasting button we can see when we start our fast and when we end below that we can check our fasting statistics and you can add a fast or check your history and at the very bottom we have an option to upgrade to the premium version to view some recipes well isn't that fun now we are on the score tab which is where you can check your fasting score here you can edit your data or get more recommendations 
here you can edit your goal and another way to track your water and steps just like we did before and below that we can check our data for today and allow notifications if you want or manage your app connections here towards the bottom now we are under the my ai tab where you can talk to the apps ai hi jed fasting i'm your personal ai chatbot you can ask me about anything related to fasting nutrition and other health aspects I'll do my best to help and I'm always here. Is there anything I can do for you today? Here you can select one of the options they have here as a reply or I can type my own message. Could you sub to my channel? And his response is upgrade to the premium version first and I'll think about it. Now we are on the buddies tab where we can invite our friends to download the Fastic app. Finally, we are here under the profile tab where you can check your profile. Here towards my picture, you can check your current level. Right below my picture, you can see my name when I joined. And to the right of that, you can see a pencil icon, which when we tap on that, here we can edit our picture, our name, or our bio. Above that, we have settings, which when we tap on that, what do you know? Some settings. Here we have a bunch of settings under account, under fasting, support, community, some extra settings here towards the bottom as well. And if you would like to delete your Fastic account, you can do so here towards the bottom. All right. What do I like about this app? Well, first of all, I appreciate the fact that I have a start and stop button here towards the top. That's always something I ask for. I like the fact that they have another specific tab where it's just about the start and stop fasting button, as well as some other stats here. And that's about it. Now, what do I not like about this app? As always, you guys know I'm a fan of minimal looking apps. And unfortunately, this is not one of them. When you come here to the main interface, you can see that it's okay, I suppose, but could be better. For example, I don't need a bunch of these tasks here on the main interface. I don't need to track as many things as it's offering here. I also don't like that it has a lot of things here that you can scroll through, which takes forever to get through. Not to mention it takes forever to get back to the top, even when you press the little arrow on the bottom right hand corner. I also don't really like this your stats tab. I don't find it necessary at all. I'm also not a big fan of the fasting score, as well as this section where you can check your data for the day. I can track my progress way easier than this. I also don't really like the my AI tab. I don't really find that helpful. As a matter of fact, I can find a lot more helpful information than this AI chatbot but that's to be expected they're not that smart and I also don't like this buddies tab it's kind of their way of promoting the app so I'm not surprised and that's about it now would I keep this app on my phone for me personally no it's just not quite as minimal as I would like it to be and because of that I will not be keeping it on my phone but would I recommend it to any of you guys I'm gonna say yes just because it does have the start and stop fasting button so that's pretty important it has some additional options for you here to track your water, your steps, your meals, your weight, or what have you. So if you like tracking your progress like that, it's pretty useful, I suppose. So yeah, in that aspect, I would recommend it. But I would also not recommend it simply because of the fact that, like I said, it's not minimal. But at the end of the day, it is your choice. So anyway, that's all I got to say about that. And if you guys would like to check out any other fasting apps, be sure to check out this video right here. And as always, guys, if you enjoy this video or are new to the channel, consider giving me a sub if you haven't already and tap that notification bell so that you never miss out on any future videos. Also, don't forget to give this video a like if you found it helpful and comment down down below letting me know what you guys thought of the Fastic app. And with that said, I will see you guys next time.